Hey guys and welcome to this video, today I wanna show you the black and white flicker effect. This effect can be used for music videos and now I will show you how you can recreate this effect. So first of all go with your clip into the fusion page. Now press shift and space by the same time and search for Lumakia. Select Lumakia and press add. Now go into the inspector and hit the invert box. Then again press shift and space by the same time and search for fast noise. Select fast noise and press add. Now try to delete this merge one node, then unselect this arrow and connect the Lumakia node with the fast noise node. So between these two nodes there should be a blue arrow and connect the fast noise node with the media out node. After you've done this go into the inspector of the fast noise node and decrease the detail to zero. Then go to the color tab. Now again press shift and space by the same time and search for glow. Select this glow option and press add. Okay nice now it should look like this. So now go back into the edit page. Now drag your new clip one layer up. Then duplicate your clip by pressing alt and the left mouse button. Drag this clip to the right and go into fusion. And delete all of these nodes. Go back into the edit page and drag this clip to the left. So now we've got here our original clip. And this is our clip with effects on it. And now I want to add the flicker effect. So I select my upper clip. Then I go into the inspector to composite. And I create a keyframe at the opacity. And now I go two frames to the right. Then again I create a keyframe and I go one frame to the right and I decrease the opacity from 100 to 0. Then again go two frames to the right, create a keyframe, go one frame to the right and increase the opacity to 100. Again go two frames to the right, create a keyframe, go one frame to the right, decrease. Go two frames to the right, create a keyframe, go one frame to the right, increase. And now you can do this as long as you want. So now it looks like this. But maybe you only want to apply this effect on your person. So I cut my clip right here. Then I select my upper clip and I go into fusion. Now try to deselect all of these three nodes by pressing shift and the left mouse button. Then select the media in one node and press shift and spacebar and search for magic mask. If you don't have the studio version of DaVinci Resolve you can also use runwayml.com for rotoscoping. It's free so this video may help you. But if you got the studio version you can select the magic mask and press add. Now connect the magic mask with the media out node and mask out your subject. Then I hit this button. And again hit this button. Okay and now try to connect these three nodes before the magic mask node. So now it should look like this. And I go back into the edit page. And now it looks like this. So if this video has helped you then leave a like or a sub to my channel. Now you can watch one of these two videos to get better in DaVinci Resolve. Or check the first link in the description to get some nice effects. Okay nice, thanks for your support, stay creative and bye.